you are most welcome here today to the Deloitte Greenhouse here in Dublin for our first EMEA Grid FS Blockchain Lab Community of Practice event. Really, why we're here today is to bring together over 50 people from over 15 different Deloitte member firms from across EMEA to discuss and share all the work that we're doing in terms of blockchain with our clients. Our EMEA Blockchain Lab is a collaboration across all of the countries in Europe, Middle East and Africa, focused on how we develop and build out strategic use cases in blockchain. And I think the interesting thing for us is that rather than operating at individual country level, we've decided to pool our resources across all of the different countries within Europe, Middle East and Africa. We expect to grow our team to over 50 people, pulled from those different countries, those different member firms within the Deloitte network. The impact that blockchain technology will have across our financial services clients in Europe, Middle East and Africa is very profound, but our focus is on the more strategic use cases. Blockchain needs competencies from mathematics to the business development. And, and so our approach is to get the best people from university and from the market and to define a very well-structured course in blockchain because we are very well connected with the ecosystems like universities, startups, entrepreneurs and also small research labs. Thanks to these people we can prepare very good courses that we want to start from September. We can create and we can train 50 people by the end of this fiscal year. The blockchain initiatives is speeding up. Uh, if you look six months back, there are very few blockchain initiatives. Uh, we see that the main drivers behind the blockchain so in Norway, especially right now, and in Sweden, is mainly from the bank side. From our side, we see a really kind of big potential within the Nordic market because we see that banks are very digital. Also the consumer are very digital, so it's a digital mature society. So we see that there should be a lot of opportunities in the future. I see blockchain that will impact this industry very much. And first, I see banks and asset management impacted by the, by the blockchain, as, as it is uh, mostly transaction businesses. So the lessons we learn is, uh, first I think we, when we do use case, we have to, to start small, you know, very focused on the use case and uh, to demonstrate the, the added value of the use case or the opportunity or the threat of the use case, um, but on the functional aspect, you know, so very focused, focused on functional side. Our client wants to understand is uh, the benefits, the limitation of it, on the, but on the business side. Then when you have demonstrated this, you can uh, uh, tackle the technological issue. But really for me, it's uh, really on the, on the functional side. So define the limit of the use case, work on it, demonstrate it, and go and discuss with the client uh, regarding the, the functional aspect. Technological issue we come afterwards. There's lots of been also incredibly interesting stuff today around use cases and ideas, and, and it's been great today to get a lot of insight on what's happening across the different geographies. And the biggest thing is like, it's not enough to just come up with the idea. It's when you can come up with the idea and couple that with how, what's the experiment you're going to do to prove out that idea. Like then you're on the path. You know, once you, if there's a simple experiment you can do, you can execute it and then start kind of working your way forward. Lots of people have lots of ideas, but if you're the person who can work out how can I spend just 10,000 pounds or a small amount of money to validate that idea and start working for it, that's the person who's going to succeed. Get beyond the hype and ask uh, deep questions. And uh, the main question is, why do I need a blockchain? Uh, blockchain is not just a distributed database. We had those. It's not just a public key cryptography. We had that in the 90s. A blockchain is something more. It's a, an independent, immutable, global, permissionless timestamping system that allows to, to give a unique history to some kind of uh, uh, register. So what's really clear for me from what came out of today is that actually how we have to work together at an EMEA level in order to ensure we put the best people on the pitch for our clients.